Hi, I'm Dr. Dean Mitchell. I'm a board certified immunologist that practices holistic medicine. Today I want to speak to you about leaky gut. A lot of people have heard this term leaky gut and they're not sure what it means. When you think about something leaking, you tend to think of a faucet that's leaking where the water keeps on dripping. That's not what we're talking about with leaky gut. Leaky gut has to do with a few different type of medical disorders where the body's immune system starts to go out of balance. The classic cause of leaky gut that we understand the best has to do with gluten. And this was shown by a Dr. Alessandro Fasano, who is now at Harvard, who showed that in patients that had celiac disease, by eating wheat, the proteins from the wheat caused the gut to open up and let proteins leak out, which not only caused digestive symptoms, but caused other symptoms as well, such as arthritis, rashes, even respiratory problems. The reason that occurs, if we look at the stomach and look in depth at the stomach lining, it's only one cell thick. So when something like gluten comes in to patients that don't tolerate it very well, the space between these cells opens up and the proteins leak out into the rest of the body. Gluten sensitivity and celiac disease are very well known causes of leaky gut. Another cause of leaky gut that I see frequently in my practice has to do with candida or what's called yeast overgrowth. Many patients I see in my practice due to several factors such as overuse of antibiotics, a diet high in sugar intake or carbohydrates, if patients have been on acid blockers such as proton pump inhibitors, all of these things change the balance of the good and the bad bacteria in the gut and in the intestines. And again, when this happens, the overgrowth of the yeast causes openings between the cells in the intestine and in the stomach that escape out and can cause symptoms varied such as vaginitis in women that can affect the sinuses in men or women. I frequently see patients that get skin rashes and in the more extreme cases, patients get what's called brain fog where they're just not concentrating well uh, or severe fatigue. The last um, digestive symptom I want to talk about is called small bacterial overgrowth. Uh, in the past, a lot of patients were thought to have irritable bowel syndrome, but now also we have a special type of breath test that we do that we can determine if a patient has too much bacteria in the gut, uh, which needs to be reduced so they can alleviate their symptoms. The treatments we have for our patients that are very effective are dietary measures where we reduce the intake of sugar, wheat, dairy, which makes a huge difference. And we also have techniques in our office using vitamin therapy to rebalance the immune system. And then in certain cases use antifungal therapy, medications that will rebalance the system as well. Leaky gut is a real condition. And if you think that you have it, you should investigate further because treatment options are readily available.